in the event the indoor fan and motor or assembly requires service. The accessibility to it is pretty simple. First thing to always remember, anytime I'm inside the indoor fan section, I should have the power locked out and tagged out on the unit. I remove the outer panel. With the same 5 16 nut driver, I'll notice <clears throat> there are two retaining screws on the indoor fan assembly. With the power off and the outer panel removed, I disconnect the wiring harness to the indoor fan motor assembly. I have two other wiring connections that I have to disconnect, and that is the thermal sensor located on the shroud for the indoor fan. Now to remove the assembly, it's a matter of two 5 16 screws. Both of those are easily accessible in the front. With the wiring connections removed and the two fixing screws removed, the indoor fan assembly slides forward to remove it from the brackets on the back side, push slightly backwards and lift out. Now the entire indoor fan assembly, motor as well as fan, can be removed. This also gives us a better shot of that manual reset thermal cutout that has become part of this particular unique fan assembly. One other point that should be noted here, this is easier with this particular design and now that I can see, in this case, the gas-fired heat exchangers, it allows me another inspection point that I didn't have with the previous design. As usual for this type of procedure, keep in mind that you'd be working directly over the heating section, so you'll want to be careful that no screws or tools or anything fall down in there. In this view, we can see the two brackets that hold the backside of the indoor fan assembly to the fan deck. Notice that we just leave those fan deck brackets behind the fan in place for the whole procedure and there's no need to adjust them. But if you did try to loosen or remove them for some reason, there's a chance they could slip down through the fan deck and potentially end up causing a problem like an electric heater short or a premature failure of the heat exchangers. So just leave the brackets alone and keep things simple. Installation of the fan is the reverse of the procedure we just went through. The indoor fan assembly slides into the opening, comes forward, we push it back into the brackets on the back side of the fan deck, reinstall the screws holding the front of the fan assembly in place, plug the indoor fan harness back in, and reattach the wires to the thermal cutout. And there you have it. Removal and reinstallation of this new fan design. Notice that it has made inspection of the gas-fired heat exchangers quite a bit simpler. 